Hello everybody, good evening, welcome. This is Styles and Drew, an online concert celebration. And my name is Joshua Mason. I'm the company director here at Inspirations Theatre Company and the one who has been in charge of all of the online quarantine activities that we have so far been running here at Inspirations. This is our third week. So we started with Sondheim. Then we did Andrew Lloyd Webber last week, and now we are on Styles and Drew. And this week, the name was actually pulled out of a hat. So I wrote down a long list of all of the themes that I'd like to cover at some point um, if our current lockdown situation continues. And Styles and Drew was pulled out completely at random, but it was ever so apt because Inspirations Theatre Company was supposed to be performing a Styles and Drew show, Soho Cinders, last week. It was supposed to be our closing night this time last week, last Saturday. So it's really nice that we've been able to spend a whole week um, exploring this fantastic writing duo. So we watched The Wind in the Willows from uh, live from the London Palladium on Monday. We had a Styles and Drew quiz on our Facebook page. Congratulations to the winners of that. And now we're here um, with a live concert featuring all of the incredible videos that we have received from you. Yet again, I have been absolutely overwhelmed um, with what we have received. We've got just under an hour's worth of material to share with you. And again, we have had people from all over the country getting involved. So thank you so much if you are getting involved. Please, please, please make sure that you go over and like Inspirations Theatre Company on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, because uh, all of our updates about our new themes and the activities that you can get involved with are posted on there on a regular basis. Um, so make sure that you are following us and make sure that you invite your friends and family along as well. There is plenty for them to get involved with while we are all stuck at home. My message has always been the same since this started, which is to stay safe, but keep performing. Now, for those of you who are regular uh, members or audience members of Inspirations, you will have seen that when we did our last rehearsal, now nearly four weeks ago, um, obviously we were all very, very sad. We were, you know, we just had to postpone the show. We didn't know what the future held. Um, and, you know, it was, it's been a difficult time. And um, there's actually, I'm going to be showing you um, the video that we recorded live at our final rehearsal at the end of this concert. So make sure you stick around for that. But equally, obviously, it's really hard not being able to see friends who come to Inspirations every week. And um, it's been really hard when you're not able to perform together. Um, and so I've put together a little surprise. So... Um, as I said, at our final rehearsal, we did a live recording of a song from the show, which we taught to everybody um, and we staged it differently than what it is in the show and what got everybody involved. And it was a bit of a we may be down, but we're not out. We're going to carry on performing. Inspirations, you know, will be back. Um, and so since then, like I say, it was supposed to be our show last week. And what I've done is I reached out to our cast members um, and we've got uh, members in our cast who are teachers um, who are still in work. We've also got people, uh, frontline NHS staff as well, um, who, you know, so big shout out to, to all of those key workers in our ranks. Um, and I asked them, if you've got the time, can you please record this song for me and send it me in and I will stitch it all together and play it for the opening of the Styles and Drew concert. So, this is another of the hashtags that I've been using prominently whenever referring to any of our quarantine activities, which is, you shall go to the ball. Um, this is what we've been saying. Soho Cinders will happen one day, hopefully very, very soon. We don't know when, but hopefully soon. So we all will eventually go to the ball, eventually. And this is uh, the ending of Act 1. Um, so thank you to all of the people who did this. Um, here is Inspirations Theatre Company, uh, some of our members performing You Shall Go to the Ball from Soho Cinders. You shall go to the ball, Cinderella, I'll take you for a ride. You shall go to the ball, lucky fella, 
Your cabbage weeds just step inside. I can't do tricks with pumpkins, or no horses from white mice. Who needs veg and vermin when you've got me here? I'll have fries. You shall go. Affairs. Gossips may think that I'm dating a twink, but who cares? You shall go to the ball, Cinderella, with all your boyish charm. Yes, you shall go to the ball as my bell, a handsome trinket on my arm. I let him talk me into this He just gives me the creeps Maybe one should be more particular About places one sleeps Sorry Crow, I know it's not clever Doing this is not what I'd ever choose Here we go again, the golden couple this could really be the litmus test How is this? Make sure you mingle and choose every single last guest How did I let you talk me into this? I feel weak at the knees There we go, that was You Shall Go To The Ball, sung by our cast, some of our cast. Um, so I want to give a massive shout out to Shannon Foss, Lauren Turner, Emily Skill, Josh Skeldon, Matthew Zadora, Zoe Pullinger, Kian Mosley, Ruby Berkhamshaw, William Cousins, Evie Pullinger and Hannah O'Gara 
for sending in videos, for taking five minutes of your time, sending that in and allowing me to present it to you as a premiere this evening. Um, absolutely fantastic. And I would also like to emphasise that those incredible harmonies that you heard at the end were all sung by those guys. There is no layering of professional um, cast recordings or anything on that. That is all of our own guys. So thank you so much to all of you for working so, so hard on that. Um, I think it, it, it came out brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So thank you very much. And um, again, make sure that you stay tuned to all of our social media networks to find out when Soho Cinders will be going on and make sure that you come and support us live. It's going to be amazing. Right, now, uh, some of our cast members you're going to see throughout tonight as well. They've also sent in some videos, so thank you. And uh, actually, the first video that we're going to watch that's been sent in is from William Cousins. He's from Danesmore. And uh, he's done a song from Just So called Does the Moment Ever Come? And this is sung by uh, the baby elephant in the show. And I was speaking to Will earlier and he said that up until this point, he'd never listened to Just So at all. He didn't really know many of Styles and Drew's musicals. And, uh, and he's so glad that he found this show and that he absolutely loves it. And that's what's so great about doing these concerts. Um, even if it is um, a composer or a theme that you're not too aware of, like it's a great opportunity to go out there and listen to different cast albums and different shows uh, that they've produced that you might not be aware of. And you never know, like Will, you might come across one that you absolutely love. So, Just So, this is obviously based on the Just So stories by Rudyard Kipling. Uh, so this is Will with Does the Moment Ever Come? Does the moment ever come When you know that somehow you won't have to wait anymore Or has the answer been unravelling All the while you're travelling To tell you what you're travelling for Does the morning ever break When the child inside won't have to take Another knock or a fall For this cloud I'm under Has made me wonder if anyone ever really grows up at all Does the journey ever end? When beyond each path there's one more bend to look around For the questions raised at every turn show there's always more to learn Well the path you're treading covers new ground At least that's what I found and if to grow up means give way To accepting things without a say I think I'd rather stay small With more paths before me They may ignore me But in some ways I hope I'll never grow up at all Does anyone ever really grow up at all? 
at home. Well, cousins there, with does the moment ever come from just so? I've just had a message asking me what some of the music was at the start of the video while you were waiting. So, um, it was all Styles and Drew music, but I chose it from shows that maybe you haven't heard of before. So the first one was a Just So song um, called There's No Harm In Asking. It's the second or third song in the show. And right at the end, it featured John Barrowman, who was part of the original company of Just So. It was a Cameron Mackintosh production. And uh, it was the first one that brought Styles and Drew some real success. So yes, there's no harm in asking. The second song was the title song from Betty Blue Eyes, all about um, a pig that's hoarded away um, during the war um, that has beautiful eyes. But what colour would you call them? They're not just blue. Um, great, great, really great show. Really, really funny. Again, if you, if you don't know it, do go and listen to it. Fabulous. And then the third song was uh, Lost Boys Gang. And this is from Styles and Drew's uh, imagination of Peter Pan, a musical adventure. Um, again, it's been performed in the West End, and that was uh, the Lost Boys Gang. So there you are, some different styles and dream music for you to go and explore. Right, let's carry on with this evening then. We've got a performance here from Carolyn Zadora in Hasland. She is going to be singing a song that's actually been sent in to us uh, for a couple of different performances tonight, but that's absolutely fine. It is bound to happen, and hearing different interpretations of the same song is completely fine. So please, nobody worry about if they have done this as well. Um, Carolyn is going to be singing Every Tear a Mother Cries, which comes from Honk, which is Styles and Drew's uh, musical retelling of the Ugly Duckling story fable, and won the 2000 Olivier Award for Best New Musical, and it beat Mamma Mia and The Lion King to the award. Wow. So here's Carolyn with Every Tear a Mother Cries. Every time I turn around, I expect you to appear. Everyone may call my name, but it's your voice that I hear. Every moment that you gone is a moment of embrace. Every tear. Every tear a mother cries 
is a dream that's washed away. Carolyn Zadora there with Every Tear a Mother Cries. Uh, as you saw, that was an audio only recording rather than a video, which is absolutely fine. We've had a few already in some of our past concerts. Uh, but the reason specifically that Carolyn's uh, only did audio for us is that she's been part of our online read through of Honk. Uh, we did act one on Friday and Carolyn is playing the role of Ida and Ida sings this song in the show and she actually recorded herself doing it and sent it over so that we could use it as part of the online read through so thank you so much for that Carolyn and then she said why don't you share it tonight as well so thank you so much uh, for being involved with the read through as well that's another one of our amazing online activities that we're running here at Inspirations and um, like I say make sure that you check out our social media pages Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat and of course TikTok uh, to find out all about the activities that you can get involved with Right, I'm very excited because coming up next, we've got our first dance entry. So up till this point, we've only had uh, singers and we've had some musicians as well playing piano for us. But this is the first dance entry that we've had. And it's been sent in to us by Emily Skill from Chesterfield. And she is doing a dance routine for us to Wait A Bit, which is another song from Just So, which is sung by the flightless bird, Lesser. She, uh, and in the song it talks about how she stands on the edge and she's trying to build up the courage to, to jump off and try and fly and she just can't do it and she realises that you know one thing's clear I'm just going to have to wait a little bit more so this is Emily Skill dancing to wait a bit
Emily Skill there, dancing to wait a bit from just so. Thank you ever so much, Emily. I'm sure that that wasn't an easy thing to do, dancing on your decking, especially trying to do the splits. Like, I don't envy you that task at all, but absolutely fantastic and so, so lovely to see other performance genres and styles getting involved with our online concerts. Thank you so much. Right, coming up next, we've got me. So um, I've sung a song at each of the concerts so far, so I thought I'd keep up with the tradition. And um, I'm singing a, a song from a show that was actually the first show that I performed in with Inspirations Theatre Company. So I joined when I was about 10 years old and um, I'd never really done anything performing wise before, um, apart from school shows and things at church and community centres. Never really done any musical theatre at all. And uh, I joined Inspirations. Uh, I just moved to the area. And um, the show that they were putting on was Honk. Um, so I was thrust into being one of uh, Greylag's um, RAF geese. And I was called Barnacles. And he was the one of the, he was a comedy role in the show. So that was really, really nice. And I, I distinctly remember having to run over all over the place trying to find um, like a flying hat and goggles. Um, that the director at the time, Dot, wanted me to wear. Um, and I was hooked straight away, um, not just with Honk itself, but with musical theatre generally. Inspirations then went on uh, to perform it several years later, uh, when I was much older, um, and I was able to play the, the role of the cat in, uh, in that. And I know that there's some people who've submitted videos and who are probably watching right now who were in that production as well. Um, and probably have lots of fond memories of this show. Um, the song that I'm going to sing for you is Now I've Seen You, which is sung by the Ugly Duckling in the second act. And um, he's just seen um, the love interest, as it were, um, his first swan. He's just seen his first swan. He's just rescued her from being tangled up in a net. And, um, and he's saying that, you know, he's seen all these amazing things in the world. He's, you know, he's only young. He's just been born. He's seen all of these amazing things in the world. But, and he thought he knew what beautiful was, but he didn't until he saw her. So, from Honk, this is me, Joshua Mason from Balls Over, um, singing Now I Found You. I've seen butterflies on bluebells drinking in the dew Cobwebs in the sunlight shining I've seen them too I've seen woodlands in the autumn falling leaves of every shade and you, I thought I knew what beautiful was, but now I've seen you. in the light Damselflies who dance their dance from morning till night I've seen rainbows reaching skyward pass between the clouds that fade from view I thought I knew what beautiful was but now I've seen you and though I've seen the willows weeping branches a misty morning air, a clear and sorry night has nothing to compare with you. I've seen swallows in the summer. Feeling overhead, I have seen the silk work spinning ways on the thread. I have seen the golden sun 
sunset over the horizon, eating skies of peace and bliss. I thought I knew what beautiful was, but now I've seen you. Now I've seen you. Now I've seen you. Now I've seen you performed by me, Joshua Mason from Honk. Thank you so much for being here and tuning in to Styles and Drew, an online concert celebration featuring all of the incredible videos that you guys have been sending in to me over the last week. It's absolutely amazing what we get in. Thank you for your support. Right, let's move straight on with our next performance, which is coming from Matthew Zadora from Hasland. He's going to be singing um, They Don't Make Glass Slippers, which comes from Soho Cinders. So Matthew is one of our cast members who took part in the You Shall Go to the Ball video earlier. And he was playing the lead part of Robbie, which is uh, the Cinderella style character in Soho Cinders, as Soho Cinders is like a modern retelling of the Cinderella fairy tale. Um, yes, and Robbie's like the Cinderella character. And there's a London mayoral candidate called James Prince. And basically, this is straight after the ballroom scene. Robbie's just run. He's left his phone. Um, a bit of a scandal's come out about it all. And um, James, who's obviously supposed to be the prince and supposed to be the love interest, um, sort of like leaves him and says that he can't deal with the situation at the minute. And Robbie's just left in the middle of Trafalgar Square being a bit like... What, like, what am I supposed to do now? Like, everything seems to be ruined. You know, all these things they talk about in fairy tales don't really seem to happen, and I, I just wish that they could. Um, so, this is Matt Zadora with They Don't Make Glass Slippers from Soho Cinders. Once upon a time, there was just a little boy And he thought the whole world was his he Wasn't very old when he came to find out That that's not how it is Slippers. It's no great surprise if they made glass slippers. They don't have my size. Happy ever afters always turn out wrong. No fairy godmother pops up to help things along They don't make glass slippers Pretty as they seem Trouble is glass slippers Shatter like a dream Why don't handsome princess Practice what they preach Magical kingdoms are always just out of my reach Once upon a time there was just a little boy And he thought the whole world was his Wasn't very old when he came to find out That that's not how it is
upon a time there was just a little boy And he thought the whole world was his he Wasn't very old when he came to find out That that's not how it is They don't make glass slippers It's no great surprise they made glass slippers They don't have my size Happy ever afters Always turn out wrong No fairy godmother Pops up to help things along No fairy godmother Pops up to help things along. Matthew's Adora there with They Don't Make Glass Slippers from Soho Cinders. Right, coming up next, we have got a performance from Danielle Thompson in Brampton, and she is going to be singing us a song called Long Ago, which comes from the second act of Half a Sixpence. Now, obviously, for those musical theatre um, knowledgeable people out there, you'll know that Half a Sixpence originally uh, was a book called Kips, released in 1905. And the musical that was written by David Henniker came out in 1963. But in 2016, Styles and Drew opened a revival production of Half a Sixpence, which they renamed Two Kips. And they were asked by Cameron Mackintosh to create some new material and new songs for the show. And so songs were moved around, things were added in, things were taken out, etc. Um, and a new production was created called Kips, which is now available for amateurs to perform as well. It was hugely successful and uh, the lead was played by Charlie Stemp, who has then gone on to be in Mary Poppins, playing Bert at the minute in London when it opens again. Um, so uh, that's why it's absolutely fine that we have included it in the Styles and Drew week. Um, because they, they were responsible for the revival. So, thank you for sending this in, Danielle. This is Long Ago. Danielle Thompson there with Long Ago from Half a Sixpence. Thank you ever so much for sending that in. Right, coming up next, we've got a performance from Becca Petrillo, who is in Huddersfield. Hello, Becca. She Oh, now she's doing another song um, from, uh, not from Half a Sixpence, but from another show similar to it, um, in that she's doing Don't Lose Your Head from Six. Now, again, 
those musical theatre people out there will know that Styles and Drew did not write Six. Um, no, that, that was Toby Marlowe and Lucy Moss who wrote the music and lyrics for Six. However, George Styles is the lead producer for the production um, and, has, and has been behind it the entire way. Um, and so just like with our Andrew Lloyd Webber week where we featured Bombay Dreams that Andrew Lloyd Webber only produced, he didn't compose for it. Again, I said that it was absolutely fine for Six to be included um, if anybody wanted to do anything from it, which Becca has done. So this is Don't Lose Your Head from Six. Up in the French court, we oui, we oui, bonjour. Life was a chore, so she set sail. Fifteen twenty two came straight to the UK. All the British dudes lay. I wanna dance and sing. Ha, not my thing. But then I met the king, and soon my daddy said you should try and get ahead. He wanted me. Obviously kept messaging me like every day Couldn't be better than he sent me a letter And who am I kidding? I was pret Sent a reply Just saying hi You're a nice guy I'll think about it maybe XO baby Here we go I didn't know I would move in with his missus Get a life! Like, what was I meant to do? Sorry, not sorry, Lord, I said. I'm just trying to have some fun. Don't worry, don't worry, don't lose your head. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. L O L, say O L, or go to hell. I'm sorry, not sorry, Lord, I said. Don't lose your head. Three in the bed and the little one said If you want to be wed, make up your mind Her or me chum, don't want to be some girl in a threesome Are you blind? Don't be bitter Cause I'm fitter Why hasn't it hit her? He doesn't want to bang you Somebody hang you Here we go I didn't really mean it but rumours spiral some fun. Don't worry, don't worry, don't lose your head. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. L O L, say O L, or go to hell. I'm sorry, not sorry for what I said. Don't lose your head. Try to elope, but the Pope said nope. Our only hope was Henry. He brought a promotion, caused a promotion. The C of E, the rules were so outdated Us two wanted to get X-rated Excommunicated, everybody chill, it's totes God's will Henry's out every night on the town Just sleeping around like, what the hell? If that's how it's gonna be, baby, I'll flirt with a guy All three, just to make him gel Henry finds out and he goes mental He screams and shouts like so judgmental You damaged witch mate, just shut up I wouldn't be such a bitch if you could get up Here we go And now he's going round like off with her head Yeah, I'm pretty sure he means it What was I meant to do? Like what was I meant to do? Never what was I meant Sorry, not sorry, but what I said I'm just trying to have some fun Don't worry, don't worry, don't lose your head I didn't mean to hurt anyone L-O-L, say O-L, or go to hell Sorry, not sorry, but what I said Sorry, not sorry, about what she said Sorry, not sorry, but what I said Don't lose your head
Don't lose your head there by Becca Petrillo from Huddersfield. And to anybody who has no idea what Six is about, that probably was a little bit lie on what's going on. Um, so Six is a musical. It's only about 90 minutes long. and It's based on the lives of the six wives of Henry VIII. Um, and that song, Don't Lose Your Head, is sung by Anne Boleyn. And as you saw, it's like her entire life story of how she came to the UK, how she got in with Henry, how they then got married and then how it all went sour and she ended up having her head cut off. So yes, so there we are. So that is six. Thank you for sending that in, Becca. Right, we've got another performance here from Honk. In fact, we've got a couple of other songs from Honk coming up now. The first one that we're going to hear is James Day, who sent this in from Southend on Sea. And he is going to be singing Warts and All. This is sung by the Bullfrog in the second act of the show, um, where the Ugly Duckling's feeling pretty down about his life. He can't find his mum, he can't find his way back home. He thinks that he's ugly and that nobody likes him. And this Bullfrog comes along and says, hey, you think you're ugly? Look at me. Um, there'll be somebody out there that loves you for all of your warts. And this is such a great song. Um, so here is James Day with Warts and All. You mark my word, Feathers, one day ugly will be in. If you just sit tight on your lily pad, each silly fad will pass. Then those who sport each season's look will fall flat on there. Ask your mother what it's called. The fashion is a fickle thing, but just you wait and see. The day will come when we're in style, and then I guarantee. Out there, someone's gonna love ya. Someone's gonna love ya. Oh, what's that all? Out there, just around the corner, in amongst the fauna, someone's gonna fall for you, though I'm Tyrannosaurus Rexy, some will find me sexy in their way, though it may take some time to find them when you do you'll have a ball cause out there somewhere someone's gonna love ya warts and all you best believe i believe it cause if i didn't add sell my legs to gastronomic research i'm telling you feathers you just gotta look at the sunny side of the lily pad The ugliest of creatures have got redeeming features So why not let your better side shine forth? A mouth that runs from east to west will always make you look depressed It's better that the corners though point north So don't go into hiding, there's no need to disguise Even some potatoes have got Nice eyes, I'm telling you feathers, out there, someone's gonna love ya, someone's gonna love ya, for what's an out there, in the muddy puddle, someone needs a cuddle. Though the chance is small, it's true, just think, whenever you need boosting, one day you'll be roosting with a mate. Though it may take some time to find them, when you do you'll have a ball, cause out there somewhere someone's gonna love ya. What's and all? You tell them, kids. Brilliant. That was James Day doing performing Warts and All. I really enjoyed 
all of the props there, James. Absolutely fantastic. I also love that you were outside and there was birds in the background. Like, we could have just been on your lily pad on the lake listening to that song. So thank you so much to James Day there from Southend on Sea. Right, our next song that we're hearing from Honk, we've got a couple back to back here, has been sent to us by Hazel Bumby from Bolton. Thank you so much for sending this in, Hazel. Um, she put on uh, her little comment that she put online um, that she'd never record her, recorded herself before um, and that she was, you know, to tell people to be kind. But honestly, Hazel, just sending it in and being involved is absolutely amazing. So thank you so much for having the courage to send something in and have it shown live here on YouTube. Um, that takes a lot of guts. So here is Hazel Bumby from Bolton singing Every Tear a Mother Cries. So we've heard this once before from Carolyn, but we're going to hear it again. And like I say, that does not matter at all. And it's really nice to hear different interpretations of the same song. So here we are then, Hazel, enjoy. Every time I turn around, I expect you to appear. Everyone may call my name, but it's your voice that I hear. Every moment that you're gone is a moment dark and gray. Every tear a mother cries is a dream that's washed away. Every day will seem to be more empty than the last. Everywhere the sun once shone, a shadow has been cast. Every moment that you're gone is a moment dark and gray. Every tear a mother cries is a dream that's washed away. Every moment seems an hour, every hour lasts a day, every tear a mother cries is a dream that's washed away. Every tear a mother cries is a dream that's washed Away. Absolutely lovely. Thank you so much for that, Hazel. Every tear and mother cries from Honk. Right, we've only got a couple of songs left now, so um, thank you for still being here, um, if you are still here. <laughs> Uh, who, who, uh, bleh, bleh. We are now going to hear from Evie Pullinger from Homewood and she is going to be singing the song that Emily danced to earlier which is Wait a Bit from Just So. So Emily used the uh, the world premiere cast recording um, for her dance uh, but this is Evie singing it for us live. So this is Wait a Bit from Just So. Why are the things you admire most in others the hardest to find in yourself? What is it about me that seems to determine 
I'm destined to lie from the shell. This way to be character, waiting to find whatever it is that I lack. Whenever they ask the real me to step forward, the real me takes a step back. Wait a bit, she says. Can't do it, she says. Wait a bit, she says. Not really knowing what she Addiction that will stay in my mind till at last I can find something more. I'm searching for something they say is within me, but somehow is hidden from sight. But why should I search when it's not in my nature? Step out and stand in the light But my expectations are not all that great With just one dream I had hoped to fulfill And yet when it came to the moment of truth I proved to myself I must still wait a bit Am I? Just not fit to fly When I came to try I watched the others as they soared and rose It seemed so effortless but then who knows Beneath the surface sometimes torment grows up courage, for I knew I should fledge. So I stood on the edge. Then I froze. The flightless bird gets by without a flight But still I'm hoping that someday I might He made me feel I could soar Now only one thing is sure I'll have to wait a bit more. Uh, wait a bit there, performed by Evie Pullinger from Homewood from Just So the Musical. Right, we have reached uh, our penultimate song of the evening. So, we are now going to hear from Diane Renner, who is from Berwick-upon-Tweed. Um, so, thank you so much again for being involved, Diane. That's, that's absolutely amazing. But as, as you've heard, people from all over the country and all over the place um, have got involved with the concert, which is absolutely fantastic. So, uh, the penultimate song of this evening by Diane is going to be Feed the Birds from Mary Poppins. Now again, musical theatre people out there, you will know that Mary Poppins, the score for that was originally written by the Sherman Brothers, but the same thing happened with Disney's Mary Poppins as with Half a Sixpence when Cameron McIntosh recommissioned it for, a, for the first time as the big musical um, show. He asked Styles and Drew to come in and create new music and so again the whole show was reworked um, 
Well, there wasn't a show before, I take it back. The show didn't exist. It, there was no reworking, so obviously it's based on the film. Um, yes, and they made this whole new uh, stage production of Mary Poppins, um, which has then just recently been revived in London as well. So again, that is why we have said that it's absolutely fine for people to send in something from that. And so this is Diane from Berwick-upon-Tweed with Feed the Birds. All each day to the steps of St. Paul's The little old bird woman comes In her own special way to the people she calls Come by my bags full of crumbs Come feed the little bird show them you care and you'll be glad if you do The young ones are hungry the nests are so big all it takes is toppers from you. Feed the birds, toppers a bag, toppers, toppers, toppers a bag. Feed. That's what she cries While overhead Her birds fill the skies All around the cathedral The saints and apostles Look down as she sells her wares Although you can't see it you know that they're smiling each time someone shows that they care. Though the words are simple and true, listen, listen, she's calling to you feed the birds toppers a bag toppers 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 a bag
Diane Renner there from Berwick, not Berwick, Berwick upon Tweed with Feed the Birds from Mary Poppins. Um, I've just got to say to Diane and to Hazel, who obviously this is your first time sending something in to us, that I have had messages saying how impressed people are with your performances. So thank you so much for sending them in. And maybe now that you've done your first one, you'll stay tuned to find out what our theme is going to be next week and send us in some videos for that as well. So, so thank you. Right, and um, as again, if you're a regular viewer, you'll know that I always try and leave you with a song that, that I think is fitting for the time, either to lift your spirits um, or talking about things, um, you know, that we all need more of now, like love and stuff like that. And what I said at the beginning of the live broadcast tonight was that at Inspirations Theatre Company's last rehearsal, which was nearly four weeks ago now, we got the senior members who were able to attend, who were supposed to be performing Soho Cinders, we taught them all one of the songs from the show, which is traditionally just a duet in the show, so only two people knew it already. Um, but we, we taught it to the rest of the company who were at that rehearsal, and then we restaged it all around our rehearsal venue, um, and then did a Facebook Live, and it's now been seen by thousands and thousands of people. So thank you if you have already seen this and also if you have been sharing it um, across social media. Um, the song is called Wishing for the Normal and it's sung by Robbie and Velcro, the two lead parts in the show. And they're wishing for the perfect lives that they want for themselves, but it's just normal, simple things. Um, going to a restaurant and splitting the bill um, going on a movie night and sharing a bucket of popcorn, um, waking up in the morning and not worrying about having to do your hair or your makeup because you found that one special person. And the reason that we picked it was because with the current situation, we felt it was just so applicable to what was happening in the world. And it is still applicable right, right now, because everybody is certainly just wishing for the normal. So this is some of the senior company from Inspirations with our final video of this evening, uh, which is wishing for the normal. As I always say, please remember to stay safe, but keep performing. Good night. This is Wishing for the Northern. supporters and we'll be back with you really soon.
Imagine having a mortgage. Imagine hearing a goldfish. A goldfish? You saddo.